Hi guys, this is a quick update on the uh, test, little test rocket I've been using to test my boiler. Um, what I've done is I've moved the actual secondary air feed from the centre. I've welded that pipe on the side and it's fed into the side of the actual riser tube. As you probably saw if you was watching my other videos, um, the secondary air was fed through the centre at the bottom and I didn't like that because the air wasn't getting preheated and it was also going to be a pain to build in so I'm just going to light this now for the first time well not the second time but I just want to show you how clean the burn is which you know you can get this clean burn almost straight away so I'll just light this now It was burning. It's a bit windy today, but you can just see the top of the riser tube there. It's not smoking at all. Well, it, you know. Oof. A bit, but the riser tube's not warmed up yet. That needs a bit of insulation around it, obviously, so the tube gets hotter quicker. You can see inside the actual tube there, that we're getting a good, a good spiral as the flame enters. That air is really mixing in well, being fed from the side of the riser tube. Trying too hard has just finished his riser tube and secondary air on his stove, and I like the way you know his burn was, and he said he got a clean burn straight away. So I've changed my mind on. I didn't want to put the maypole in the centre. Um, that was my method of preheating the air because of the temperatures that it's getting up to in there, you know, a thousand degrees. I didn't want anything shoved inside the riser tube because it's just going to degrade and fall to pieces after a time. So we've, I've changed to this so I can get the secondary air feeding into that little tube there. And that's where the... I'll probably just show you this by putting a stick on. You can see the can see the air getting sucked up into into the secondary air tube there. It actually almost acts like a rocket itself that way it sucks the air in. So it's getting plenty of air. And the whole thing's burning really nice and as you could see, you know it's it's a clean bird right it's a clean burn right from the off. Flames are actually exiting the top of that riser tube. Now and then, if I was filming this at night, you would actually see the flame a lot better. The reason I've got to this stage was I um, I was moving the air intake around on the bottom of the riser tube, and I found the best place to have the air intake was where the flames all where they first enter the riser tube. Um, and like I say, I didn't want to put this bottom fed one because the air is not preheated and it would have been a major pain trying to preheat it. So the simplest method is very much like uh, trying too hard. So is is a uh, side fed tube welded on the side with an incline going straight up so that it feeds itself. Hot air rises uh, and itself feeds itself. So that's it guys, quite happy with that now and I can uh, test 
start carry on doing the tests on my boiler now. Really clean burn and a great little tornado going on in there. Okay guys, that's it for now. Cheers.